Hello everyone, here I have my last video for the mini monster release over at Jada Blossom and there is the gnome dies monster add-ons, the girl gnome dies for the body, the scallop slider and topper die, rectangle dies too for the bigger one and prehistoric age for the sentiment super fun set if you haven't seen it before yes i use that one too cute four and one fourth by five and five eighths is my card base and i'll take some paper to match my outside of the card just to dress it up and i'm going different here i'm just putting on a side as the pattern is that way. So instead of using a different sheet, I'm just gonna use the leftovers. And it's still cute that way. I got a little bit of ink in the back of my card, but I'm not gonna worry about it, it's all good. Put a little bit of glue so it stays closed. And here's a orangey, pa uh, orangey paper with some gathered twig, just so it's a little darker and it matches my little dinosaurs because that's what I did. Put a little bit of ink on there. And there's going to be a white frame all around. Sorry, I have like a little tickle in my throat there with my allergies. Sometimes you don't hear it, sometimes you can. Um, here is the pattern paper from Doodlebug with the little dinosaurs on it. I love this paper. So cute. So the others um, layer on top will be the same paper again but I'll just flip it over to the trees instead and they're all flat here no dimension yet until I bring in my cute little dinosaur oh they are so fun so if you haven't seen the mini release over at Jada Blossom, go check it out. They're all available in the store. And I put this layer in and I found it was a little too much white. So I will peel it off, but I left it in so you can see. So there's my cute little Nomi dinosaur. And I will show you how I made her in a little bit. So I'm just placing it and I really don't like just that stark white. So I peel that off and then I'm going to put just a banner instead. So I use both tags. And here is a little sentiment. Thanks for stomping by. And I'm just measuring where I want to cut. There it is. And I'm going to pop it up. You see, I took a little bit of the white off on the edge so it matches with the border. And I'll bring in some sequins just to finish it off with some a little bit of bling on here. So, so if you haven't seen, there is a blog hop going on. I will have a link to my blog so you can go check that out and go see all the amazing project that the DT made with these new products from Jada Blossom. Um, yes, super fun. So there is four new die sets for this mini release. Jam pack of goodness, I'm telling you. So fun. So there is my card. How fun is that? So here we go with some gathered twigs. The ink I'm using on the whole uh, little dinosaur. So even the pattern paper and just the plain paper will be the same ink. I'm 
just blending here. There's cute little um, dragon also on this set. I'm trying to think because there's two different ones. Um, so the dinosaur, yeah, a bunch of stuff. And there's like a monster. Oh, they're adorable. Had to check because this one I thought I didn't know what tail because there's one for the dragon and there's little spikes on that one. So I think I got it right. I'm pretty sure I got that right. <laughs> and just the hands. And I got the little face and nose. Just putting a little bit of shadowing on there too. So it all blends and matches. So I just cut off the top of her hat. So you can stick it on there and I have the body already put. So I'm playing with the hair and I realized no, I have to put the little hat on. And place it just like so. And now it's easier to put your little hair in there. Because it just lines up perfectly there. Then I'll put my little nose, no dimension, because there's a nose on the dinosaur. So that will need to be covered because see your little nostrils, you have to cover that. So you could go with black. I should have went black so then it would stand out. But I went with the same color of the um, face. So it just blends that way because that piece goes first. So it covers up the nose a little bit of um, the little gnome. So I'm just putting some pop dots where I'm gonna put the feet. And I'm just building one of the hands. And there's one of the little feet. So they're not too hard to put together. Just a lot of little pieces, but they, they turn out so cute that, yeah, it's so worth it. These are so cute. So uh, me and my daughter were cutting all these and she cut this color out thinking of Sarah on Littlefoot. If you remember when you're a child or your children play, uh, watching Littlefoot, love that show. The Land Before Time, I should say. So we did her looking like Sarah. And I put back the release paper so it doesn't stick because I have more pieces to add to her. So there is the little hands. And I do put dimension on there too. And I'm going to put the little horn on top. So I thought after it, maybe it would have been easier to put the little eyes in first, but then I thought no, because then you have more um, where you, you should go with that little horn there. It kind of separates that space, right? And I do put my little black uh, piece of eye on one side. I'm going to move them to the middle. I think they look better that way because they look a little bit cross-eyed there. So I decided to change it before it dries up. So I don't ruin it. It looks like I'm going to ruin it, but I, I didn't. I saved it. So I'm just sticking that there for now. It's not glued. has to go down a little bit. So now I start gluing them back in 
there they are and I just put a little bit of white gel pen and I will go a little later and put another little dot in there you'll see that a little bit and then she has two other little horns on top like so so yeah if you haven't seen my two other videos for this release you can always go back to my um, blog and it will have the links to them or on my page on YouTube so if you notice the little egg is one of the foot <laughs> Yeah, that's all I did. I had it cut, so I just used it. And I'm just putting a, a, a little piece of foam so there's two layers. It stands up. And I'm just putting some highlights here and there. And she's almost done. And I put little cheeks. Just like I did my treat box, if you've seen it, I put little cheeks on it. That would be cute. Like I said, it's... um. It's fun because you can change it up and put whatever you like on it. You don't have to stick to the rules. There you go. And I'll add that last little spot in the eye. And there. All done. So I will show you again the materials that I use for this card. All the goodness from Jada Blossom. And like I said, both of the, uh, the tag dies, flag dies, I should say. And there's my card. Hope you like it and I'll see you all soon. Bye.